Hey guys, David here and welcome to another video. Now this is just kind of a bonus video, it's the end of the year and I want to look back a little bit and give you some recommendations for which, in my opinion, are the best 3D printers of this year. Now I have made quite a few 3D printer reviews uh, this and the previous years, um, so I have a bit of a catalog to go back on. So in this video I just want to um, look back on this year and tell you, in my opinion, which 3D printers I would buy if I went out this holiday season uh, to get one for myself. Now to start off, uh, while I think it wasn't even released this year, uh, you can't go wrong with the Ender 3. Even if there might be better 3D printers at the same time, uh, at the same price point, the big advantage of the Ender 3 is that if you have any kind of problem, I can guarantee you that a hundred people already had the problem before you and you can easily find solutions online. That's just because it is so immensely popular uh, that on every forum about 3D printing there will be thousands of people being able to answer your questions about the Ender 3. Now you can currently get it either on Banggood or on Gearbest or many other places. Uh, Gearbest actually offers uh, quite fast shipping sometimes, like five days or something crazy like that, uh, which if you're in a hurry can be quite nice. Now if you aren't as uh, worried about uh, knowing having a big community and uh, many people to help you. Uh, another great option from this year is the Alpha Visa U30. It, in my opinion, it has some advantages over the Ender 3, for example, the touchscreen and some more sensors. So there are some advantages and it is basically the same price. So if you aren't as reliant on a big community, then this is also a great option. If you want to get something a little bit bigger than the Ender 3 or Alpha Visa U30, then, well, in my opinion, there's only one good option, and that's the Artillery Sidewinder X1. I did a review of it quite recently and was totally blown away compared to uh, my old CR10, which released at basically the same price. And while the CR10 dropped a bit in price and you can get upgraded versions of it for the same price as the Artillery Sidewinder, like, the equivalent CR10 version of the artillery, in my opinion, is way more expensive uh, than the Sidewinder X1. And it is also available in many different places. You can get it either here on Banggood or on Gearbest, or if you're in a hurry, Gearbest also has a fast shipping option that is a little bit more expensive. And so you can take your pick there. Now, I also took take a look at a few more resin printers this year and the SparkMaker Full HD is only a small upgrade over the regular SparkMaker but this extra re resolution just pushes it over the edge of being just a kind of chunky little SLA printer to being a quite workable printer. And with that I would also highly recommend to get the water washable resin. Then finally I can't go out without giving a mention to Prusa. Uh, they do really great work and they have uh, quite a few new printers this year. They have their new SLA printer that is now finally shipping. Uh, it is quite a lot more expensive than something at the SparkMaker, but it is also a whole ecosystem with a curing washing station and I've heard many great things. Now, I haven't been able to test it myself, but from what I heard this is a really great machine. They also just released the Prusa Mini, which is a, a less expensive version of the Prusa i3, which I've been using a lot and really love. Uh, now this is only pre-order, it says here that it'll ship only in like early 2020, so keep that in mind. But these are just uh, my top printers for this year. If you have other printers that you're a great fan of, leave them down in the comments. And I just want to thank all of you for watching this year. Uh, we've grown the channel about 5,000 subscribers, which is really quite amazing. Uh, on, back in January we were only at 10,000 subscribers, and now we are at over 15,000. I also, also did take quite a long break uh, this summer, and even though when I came back you guys were just as strong as ever and supporting me all the way through. I will have another video this Friday, uh, but after that I'm gonna go on a two week break for uh, Christmas and the New Year's and we'll be back with the CNC conversion series in January. So with that said, 
Thanks for watching, make sure to like, comment, subscribe and stay tuned for next year. Thanks for watching and until next time.